Sometimes you just don't think when you're doing these things. I think I just realized my mistake. It's the first time I ever did that to me. It just kind of kept coming out and then... Well, that's gonna be a problem. That's, uh, yeah. We're gonna have to fix that. Maybe just buy a new one, I don't know. Oh, maybe I just cut it off where it is. You know, if you keep running over it back and forth, it might come off on its own. Yeah. Perfect. That is good enough. All right, let me move the truck out of the way and I'll lower that down on that jack. All right, that's good. Now we can work on this. I was just about to get ready to paint this and guess what? I think I just realized my mistake. Did you guys realize it? I'll show it to you. You looking for something, Poo Poo? Or are you burying something? All right, well, here's my mistake. Look at this. Can't get it down in the hole. Now, I'm gonna have to cut it back off and then redo it. Sometimes you just don't think when you're doing these things. Isn't that right, Popo? All right, let me see them eggs. Pinkish, brownish old school, and olive. All right, I gotta cut this back off. And you know what, I'm gonna shorten it about an inch and a half because I don't want it to hit the ground. Oh yeah, that'll be fine there. Let's pull this outside, get it hooked up, and then we'll weld this bottom piece outside.
Okay, I've got the Vulcan set up, but now that I'm outside, I've got it on an extension cord, so I'm only gonna be able to run it off the 120 volt. So hopefully it'll weld uh, just as well. What's that about? It's the first time I ever did that to me. It just kind of kept coming out and then wasn't welding so let me cut that off this is flux core wire so I'm not using any gas out here yeah When I let go, it keeps going. Ah, uh, I don't know what's going on. Ah, right, it's no good. This is no good. Why does the Vulcan Omni Pro continue to feed wire after the trigger is released? Here we go. Reddit. Oh, come on. Mature content? It's a... That's annoying. So I finally figured out if the machine cannot detect a ground, it'll stop the machine but still continue to spool for three seconds. I wonder how long it's going to take me to figure out I started a fire on my cotton moving blanket below me. I've started a timer up here just to see how long it actually takes. Well, this is the only way to do it. It seems like... Oh, oh man. I'm burning my, uh, my rug down here. Maybe I should move that. It says that the wire feeds for three seconds when arc is not detected, so maybe I did not have a very good ground. I don't know if you saw that, but I hit my, uh, hit my thumb right there. Just, you know, when I was switching hands here. Not a deep cut, but uh, that's topped out right there, probably about six inches. It's probably okay. So, there you have it. Let's look at this weld. I mean, not very beautiful doing it out in the field right here. Especially with the welder problems, I was having issues. But uh, I think that's gonna be strong enough just to hold it. It's not gonna get any side to side pressure. Just up and down, should be fine. Ah, it's not too bad, just a surface cut. Oh, look at that, that's, that is nice and high. Works much better than the old one anyway. I'm kind of glad I bent it. All right, well, I'm not going to use this. It's just in here. I think I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to paint this. Keep it from rusting. Well, there you have it. I think I should go ahead and close this uh, video out. Just a short video on fixing this camper trailer up. This is 16 foot long by at least eight feet wide. It's a nice little camper. I'll show you guys the inside real quick. If you want to see that, I'll let you go. Whew. It's kind of messy in here right now, but you got a fold down seat over here. In the back, you got five beds, one, two, three, four, and then one in the back here. And then on this side over here, got a water tank up here. Got a fridge here, sink station right here, just all gravity fed. 
we do have uh, like a storage area with these uh, milk crate boxes and behind here got some whoop, I can't see anything now uh, but uh, some storage area behind there and a little AC unit up here uh, we do take a uh, uh, generator with us this uh, wind generator can power this whole thing it's very quiet I like that generator a lot actually and uh, yeah there you have it anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up please that really helps out the channel uh, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next one give me some breathing exercises no hold on it's like this like this make yeah. sure your chin is on the yeah, yeah. Can I do it? Push your chin kind of relaxed. Okay. Your fingers should be stretching up. Alright, show me how to breathe. Okay. On six counts. So yeah. you breathe in on six counts. So and push your elbows to the side. Oh my gosh. It feels like you're holding your breath. You gotta breathe. Yeah, no, I'm breathing. Okay. And do it like uh six times. I forgot how many times. And then you do this. You do like... And so do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure your thing is... Yeah. 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 Got it. Got it. Sorry guys, I gotta, I gotta go do some yoga. <laughs>